Now let's talk about how we can uh, render particles. So I'm gonna just navigate back out here to our object level and let's just scroll down here until we can find our particles. And I'm just going to turn those on. You can see our little particles show up down there. I'm just gonna pause the render for a second. And uh, maybe let's get a camera that looks directly at the particles. So I'm just gonna go back to camera two and hit the lock and move down here so that I can see my particles nicely like so. And uh, I might hit the D key and change my background to dark just to um, make it a little bit easier to see. And let's fire off a render from this view now. I'm gonna select camera two from the dropdown and click render. And you can see here that um, nothing shows up. And that's because we have to make sure that our particles are set up um, on the Redshift object um, tab that we have here. You can either add the Redshift object parameters by using the shelf tool and clicking um, object parameters here, or you can go up to the Redshift menu and say add object parameters like so. That's effectively like adding a Redshift object tag to your geometry, but as long as your scene had Redshift um, installed when you made the object, it should be there automatically. So once we're once we've got this redshift object tag um, or tab, we go over to the particles um, section and we just tick render object as particles, and then uh, let's start up our render. You probably would have to restart your render if you uh, if it was already running, but once we restart our render, you can see that particles are showing up. So let's create and assign a material for these particles. I'm going to just go back over here to the mat context, and I'm going to come down here and start typing uh, RS, I'm gonna hit tab and type in RS material builder and then hit enter and click in the little window there and we get a redshift fop net. I'll just call this one particles. And then I'm gonna just drag it into, uh, let's see, let's go to the render tab of our particles object and just drop that in there. And it looks like I've got a typo. I'm just gonna change that. Particles LES, like so. And let's fire off another render, and we should see that we've got uh, material now assigned to our particles.